Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 31 days of Halloween. Day 20, Needle Felt Skull. Although my channel focuses on clay creations, I also like to sculpt out of other mediums. And I've already done a spider out of Warbla, so I thought I needed to do some needle felt projects. So this needle felt skull is the first of my needle felt projects for my 31 days of Halloween. And I'm just starting off with some polyester fiber fill and building that up for my base. The reason why I do that is because it's a lot cheaper than the wool roving. So I'm just using my felting needles to do that. And I've noticed that my multi-needle tool here that holds seven needles doesn't seem to have as much of an effect when using it as it should, which usually indicates that the needles are getting dull. Now I'm going to go ahead and save these needles and maybe try them out in my uh, tools that require less needles in case they aren't as dull. I don't, I don't really know a best, better way to test them. And so I'm just restocking this with some fresh needles and going back over it. And I did notice a difference, but like I said, I can't really tell how dull those other ones are. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the shape of my skull, adding some of the details like the cheekbones and the eye sockets and the nose area. And then I'll just bulk it up on the underside. I'm going to go ahead and build up the eyes just a little bit more. And then once I'm done with the polyester fiber fill, I'm going to go ahead and start marking the eyes and the nose with some black wool roving. Now I know I'm going to have to add more in, but I just wanted to get them placed so when I'm adding the white wool roving, and kind of have, you know, I'm not wasting it, not going over the areas I don't need to go over. So I want to get the rest of the skull completely covered with this white wool roving. And it's a little bit tricky when you are using the, the white polyester fiber fill and then covering it with the white wool roving. And I know they're a little bit different in shades, you know, because the wool roving is more of an off-white. But still, it's hard to tell how well you're covering it. And so I just try to get it the best I can. I don't want to overdo it because you don't want to waste any. Because um, it is kind of expensive. But this method seems to work. And I'm going to go ahead and build up the rest of it. I, as you see there, I built up around the eyes. And now that black is a lot you know, smaller area. But like I said, I was more doing it just to mark off my areas. So I could build up the white and get my the look I'm going for. So I'm going to try something new here. I've hear about wet roving and I've never done it. I don't know how to do it, but I decided, well, what if I take some water and put it on my wool roving and use that to keep the shape that I'm looking for. So for the building up around his nose, it worked really well. So I didn't have as much splintering off. It's not un as unraveled. And so I did the same technique here with this black for his mouth. And that way I could keep it really thin and I just take it, put it in the water and then just, you know, kind of twist it in on itself. And I'm going to do that for these little pieces too and add them to kind of divide up the mouth. So he's got some indications of his teeth. I'm going for a very cartoony look for here. I didn't, you know, didn't think a, a needle felt plush skull necessarily had to look realistic. So I want to go for a cartoony look, which is, you know, my style. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with the wet wool roving and adding these little pieces of black to represent the skull's teeth. Just do this real quick. I'm using my two needle tool to get my precision work. Go ahead and speed this video back up and finish up his mouth. And then I'm going to bulk up his eyes a bit. And they need to be a little bit bigger than what they were. I thought about adding a crack to the skull if you saw me bring in a piece of wool there. But I decided it just was, you know, just didn't think it was needed. The last thing I did was add that little piece to his nose. And now we can take a look at the finished needle felt skull. I had a lot of fun making this guy. I know that's kind of my saying. But if I'm not having fun, why am I doing this? So anyway, I did have fun making this guy. And you can see he's just a simple little needle felt skull. But I think he's a neat little Halloween decoration. Great for sitting on a chair or a couch. Just kind of a soft little plush skull. 
a little bit squeezable, but I do do the polyester fiber fill pretty dense. It's pretty solid there, so it keeps its shape. But one thing you can do is if you you know feel like something's a little bit off, like the cheekbones or something like that, you can squeeze them in a little bit, and it will adjust to to you doing that. Same with the eyes here. All right, well, thanks for watching. I will have some more needle felt Halloween tutorials later this week, so be sure to check those out. And remember, never stop creating. Bye. If you'd like a piece of your Halloween artwork featured in my final 31 Days of Halloween video, please hashtag Andrews 31 Days of Halloween 2019 on Instagram or email it to me at andrewschmettclaycreations at gmail.com. I will put this information down in the description box below so you don't have to copy it off of the screen. Uh, deadline for submissions is October 26th and one submission per artist.